Greetings, this is Timothy from iMedical Apps. So today what I would like to do is to review the CDC's app um, recently when they just released and it's the Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report. So let's just open it up and start looking at it. So a little thing I want to touch about initially as we look at this app is as you saw in the beginning it was updating content. This is something this application does very frequently. It is a little bugger in the beginning because when you first install this and run it the um, updating content can take upwards of five minutes and every time you come back to use this app after a certain amount of time it will continually do that. It would be nice if there was a feature where we could limit that or update it in app and stop that from happening but just one of the little drawbacks to this. So let's get down into it. This is a morbidity and mortality weekly report from the CDC and basically how this app works is there are different um, sections that are just like MMWR and it breaks down by weekly reports, recommendations and reports, surveillance summaries, and vital signs in these different categories from MMWR. So looking at it initially, what do you get out of it is, you know, you have the same thing as weekly reports. So right now it's the month of January. Big uh, topic is um, the recent bouts of flu that have been hitting the area. So here's a recent one about the early estimates of seasonal influenza vaccine effectiveness in, from January 2013. So as you can see, it's basically the same text that you would get if you went online and has all the information affiliated with it. Um, has hyperlinks you can click on that will take you to different areas. But essentially it's the same information. And this is serving as a portal to access this. So what can you do with it from here? You can also, if you want, you can bookmark this. So I already have it bookmarked. And it um, allows you to jump back and forth easily from different topics that you like. You can email it. Uh, you can share it through Facebook or even on Twitter. So there is some social media usage with this, which is kind of nice, especially for those that really rely on this report and use it um, for practice. So let's go back to see what else was there. So outside of the weekly reports, you also have recommendations for reports, which basically are broken out into volumes. And the one thing is you can get CEs through this. So if you were to click on CE available, and you would say, let's suppose I want to talk about recommendations of the identification of chronic hepatitis. So go to the CE available. But here's the thing, it jumps you in app to the browser. So if you wanted to, you could open this up in Safari, say, and do it through there. So it's not really curtailed to be easily used to the app. It's just sending you out to further information, which is, to me, a little sad because it would have been nicer if there was a way to in-app do this. So again, as you can see, it's just sending you back out and uh, linking you to other information. So, pretty much just the same information that you would get. So, let's see, what else was there? Uh, surveillance summaries, again, by volumes and vital signs. So, you get the issue. You can talk about the different things that have been going on. So, one seems to be a lot about binge drinking. And, let's bring it up. Again, it's just basically linking you out back to their web browser, back to um, their website. Not necessarily the app is doing it, but rather it's just linking. So it's serving as a portal. So navigating this application, as you can see, is pretty straightforward um, initially around here. But at the very top, you also have different ways of navigating. So let's do a comparison. You can see that this just tells you what's going on, breaks it out like that. If you go through the list nav, it's basically the same thing like a charms menu almost like if you would look on let's say the Windows 8 it just drops it out pretty much the same thing the only one uh, navigation I might see is maybe beneficial is if you go to the view nav which gives you more or less a little bit more information um, as you can see it kind of gives you an abstract there a little bit oh the opening information so you can read it so it's really going to come down to user preference just based on what they want to use and how they want to navigate this application um, the app runs pretty um, well. I want to say it's pretty stable. It hasn't crashed me while I've been using it. The only thing I want to say is just the updating feature seems a little convoluted in terms of it basically locks you out when you want to use it. And, it might, and if you're going to be frequently using this application, you want to kind of update as, quick, as soon as possible. Be nice that they institute a way to manually update as your own choosing. But again, that may, or at least turn off that feature if you're a person that uh, finds it kind of a backdraw having that happen all the time. But in any event, this is Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report from CDC, and this is Timothy from My Medical Apps. Thank you for your uh, time, and hope you have a good day.